A lot of talk today about plans for Orange Beach to break away from the Baldwin County school system and establish a city school system. That decision made at last night's city council meeting a surprise to many, including County School Superintendent Eddie Tyler. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams joins us now live in Orange Beach. Debbie, what are parents saying about this? Well, we talked to a bunch of them, not only parents, but grandparents, citizens. We've got a wide range of reactions, and for the most part, well, you be the judge. The talk of the student pickup line. I hardly know what to think. I mean, it was such a surprise. At Orange Beach Elementary School. I wasn't surprised. I'm, I'm really excited about it. The decision by the city of Orange Beach to break away from the county school system. I think it's wonderful. And start a school system of their own. They should have announced that and asked their voters, but they didn't. I think it was ridiculous. With a new high school and middle school and elementary school that has been nationally recognized, the city council voted to establish a city school system and create a five-member school board. I believe that it will bring more opportunity for the kids to be separated. It won't be necessarily that the whole county has to, you know, be in one thing. They have to do all of the same things. They can kind of make their own decisions. Just a sense of it being our you know, our city, our school, Orange Beach, uh, and having the backing of the mayor and the parents. There are still a lot of questions surrounding the split. How and when it will happen, how much will it cost, how will it change the day-to-day -day operations, all questions expected to be answered in the coming weeks. I'm fired up. It's a good, a good kind of fired up. We, we'll find out. Now, Mayor Tony Kennan says that he will meet with county officials early next week to begin separation talks between the county and the city school systems. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Orange Beach, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.